Hey guys, welcome back to another commentary by Fnatic StarCraft. We'll be going against Eon at 2460 points. So, here we go. It's a cool looking wallpaper here. For Sh Shakuras Black. Shakuras Plateau or Shakuras Plateau? I think that's the only way you can really say it. Er, am I saying it right? So, whatever there. If you guys have checked out my channel you'll notice the new thingy I made it looks so sick I just like jizzed while I was making it it's so awesome I can't believe I did that though I did have a lot of tips from other people anyways so we'll be spawning as the blue zerg in the top right hand position while he'll be spawning as the red protoss in the top left hand position should be scouting after this nine pylon yep and uh, Eon here is just gonna chill and build pylons and probes and all that good stuff well I am just going to be opening with a 10 overlord I think yep 10 overlord this is rally to my hatchery to spot any kinds of cheese and uh it is so common for Terran, Protoss, Zerg. It's so hard to go hatch first without pool now that I find it's like beast. If you can do that, you are a pretty beast. So, uh, yeah, recently I've been doing pools a lot. Like, pools first for like almost every single race. And if I get that hatch first without getting completely destroyed, I normally secure the game, but no guarantees there. Though, uh, it does give you a big advantage there. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of lag coming in. I don't know where that's from. Okay, sorry about that. I know you guys just all got dizzy and all that good stuff. So, looks like I will be going risky this game and setting down a 15 hatchery before the pool and getting another drone to block the ramp immediately. Well, he is just going for the gateway, so nothing much there. Pylon at 15 is probably a bit too early. Probably want to do that at 16 or something. Not that big of a deal. Once again, just uh, same dip. Yeah, same diff. So 14 pool coming up right now after my 15 hatch, and this drone is just going to be looking for any kind of weirdness. So it looks like I just rallied him to walk all over the place and just walk around. His probe, in the meanwhile, is actually coming in here to hide behind this little uh, glowing stick thing. But I do see him, <coughs> and I was wondering if he was going to, like, cannon rush or make a proxy or something. So I do send two drones to check it out. Once you get that early pool f or early hatch before pool, you need to be so wary of cheese. There's cheese everywhere, guys. Swiss cheese, uh, cheddar cheese, white cheese, uh... I don't know, there's too much cheese in this game. Uh, I don't know if I, calling it cheese is the right term, but pretty much annoying play to stop you from achieving your goal of macroing drones. So anyways, um, probe on the watchtower here to spot any zerglings coming by. Nice move there, I guess. Um, scouting for proxies or something with this probe, actually, that was kind of weird how he set that around. So it does look like I am going to make a pair of zerglings, two pairs of zerglings, and just drone up for the rest of the game. Gonna send these to scout and make sure I know what he's going. This overlord is nicely placed to watch his rocks. When you spawn in uh, positions like this and this, you need to spot these rocks. If he breaks these rocks, breaks these rocks, without you knowing, you are so vulnerable to everything. So that is horrible, killing this uh, probe scout while I am scouting, and he actually did not put a zealot to block the ramp, so that was a little bit of a mishap. So I do spot these other two gateways building, as as well as him uh, breaking down the rocks with this overlord. So already I'm suspecting a four gate push through this rock, through this rock, into my main. So I kind of know what's up already, dropping down that roach warren. I found... I like roach warns to deal with four gates much more than spines because spines, unless you have um, 
one direct entrance and uh, most maps like Zelnaga Caverns, Metalopolis and all that stuff, it's it's hard to get they, your opponents can just find so many leaks in your spines where they can't reach and uh, I think roaches are much more mobile and better I guess so roach one coming up for me spotting this is almost broken so I should be moving my overlord away pretty soon fourth gateway is coming so yes this is a four gate push proxy pylon right here I like this placement you can actually do I like this placement kind of you can warp units in here once you've busted the rocks but that's once you busted the rocks and uh, overlord is gonna run away now and uh, first set of rocks is broken so looking according to plan for him but I do spot his rush but he does not know that until now so now he definitely knows that I'm going for these rocks killing my overlord. Overlord should have went up here or something. I expected him to come all the way just floating back into my base, so that was kind of bad. Already preparing two spines for this push. Not letting Zealots hit the DPS the wall. Uh, delaying time for my spine crawlers to get in position and uh, get a forward position to fight him at the ramp where I get a better, much better concave than him. So that is nice. Uh, nothing else much going on the map. This Zergling is the spot for a natural when he gives up his 4-gate. And uh, after you su survive a four gate, you guys will. If you guys don't, if you guys see a nexus come up, you'll know that he he'll stop the four gate. If not, he's gonna keep making units and just try to crush you, or make a stargate or a robo bay or something like the sort. So proxy pawn here as well to warp in more guys. Coming in here, spines are poking away. Roaches are in a nice concave. Need to be careful not to get force fielded off of my own ramp. So not uh, pushing down too far and I do spot this pylon down here and it's hittable by the roaches so why not take that down and he is forced to retreat and now I need to watch this door he asks me what is he doing wrong and it looks like that was maybe playing placing in the expo but who knows uh, I tell him well I saw you going this uh, breaking down the rocks and then three gateways and when he says I didn't, I don't I don't really understand that. Uh, I sent two Zerglings, you didn't have a Zealot blocking the ramp. I saw two more gateways, and you're already starting to break down the rocks. So if you're expanding, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have broken down these rocks. So uh, I, I scouted it, dude. And he says he can't do crap about the uh, Overlord, which is true. So I guess the strategy, the strategy he's using is not very valid unless uh, the guy doesn't scout it. So... Always nice to have your overlord here when you're in these two positions. But um, as you can see, I have made a lot of roaches and not a lot of uh, drones are actually equal right now. So although his attack failed, as long as he gets his expansion up and secures it and saturates it and all that good stuff, um, he's actually not in that bad of a position. And I have these roaches sitting around my base, so uh, just going to send them across the back door and see what I can hit. If his army's too big, I'll back off. Although, uh, force fields do prevent you from backing off. But his army shouldn't be too big, because I did see him lay down that expansion. Uh, Roach is getting, a lot of them getting picked off here, and, uh, I'm just gonna escape, because his army is much too big. And if he were to push up in force field, that'd actually be really bad for me. He did not do that, though, so that's nicely nice. And getting saturation on my expo, finally. Transferring a bunch of, not a bunch, but... A good amount of drones and he needs to spend resources on securing this so once I saw that uh, expansion I was pretty sure that he wasn't gonna make any more gateway units or make a few amount and not push in yet make an, ob an observer to see what I'm up to and uh, saturation going nicely here this is fully saturated and that is, I can't even tell. Adding two two more spines just for a uh, safe measure. And this is pretty well saturated as well. So two fully saturated bases for me. He has a partially saturated and a main. So units lost. Uh, I wouldn't say he's at too much of a disadvantage, but he is at the disadvantage at the moment. But Protoss players can come up with so much stuff to surprise you. Uh, you can't really... You, you gotta scout what's up. So, looks like he's going an immortal for the roaches. Good choice there. 
and a Twilight Council while I'm going a Spire, so the Immortals won't do anything to the Mutas, but I do have a lot of Roaches anyway, so that will do great DPS to the Roaches. The Immortals do like, uh, 50 per shot, so that's a load of damage. Getting Weapons 1 now, so the Zealots will be able to one-shot my Zerglings. And adding another gateway, so five gateways now. Me, I am making six or eight, eight meters, getting zergling speed now because I did go roaches, so I saved the, my first initial hundred gas for the roaches and didn't get zergling speed. Getting zergling speed now, weapons one now, and getting my third base, which is almost complete now. But he uh, he does scout that. And he's going to have to do something about it, because if I'm one base ahead, I will be able to pull ahead in resources, and even if he's more cost-effective against me, I will be able to destroy and crush his army. So Mutalus coming in to do a little bit of harassment, do what I can, making sure I can't, I don't get pushed in here and get my spire sniped or anything, leaving my roaches here. Creep spread is pretty decent, and I have both towers, so if he comes for a frontal attack, I'll just shift my roaches down here, and I have two spines to defend for good measure. Transferring some drones down to my third base, and harassing with my realists, but he is cannoned up, so uh, I won't be able to do too much damage there. Bringing his stalkers down now, and I'm just making more lings and muta, so muta ling is a sweet combo, works for Terran, works for Protoss. Uh, Mutalisks are the core to killing Protoss, for my builds at least. Roach Hydra is good if they don't go Colossi, but you can add on the Corruptors. It's, it's timing, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, but... Anyways, he is going to come in here and break my Creep Tumors and not come up the ramp, because this is four spines. So that's a lot of spines, a lot of roaches, and a lot of mutas for him to push up here into this small choking attack. So he's going to kind of dandy around and decide whether to move out or not. Three immortals, that's a lot. That will do so much damage to these roaches. Uh, fourth base coming up as well, saturating my gas and my third. And if we look at the harvesters, um, we're still pretty even. So I've been droning up too hard. I want to make sure my army does not get overwhelmed by him. And uh, keep my harvester lead or my base lead. So whenever I, f whenever I feel like I can drone up, I can just press four, S, and then D D D D D D D or hold D in this case because that is they didn't nerf that, so you can do that. And then stuff will be saturated almost instantly. So he's gonna secure his third base and attack the typical secure base attack. So weapons one, just upgrades going for me. This queen was actually spreading creep, but unfortunately got destroyed. Army of zerglings, roaches, and mulisks against a ball of three immortals, a lot of sentries, and a lot of stalkers. So my army does look slightly smaller than them, but uh, I have to hold on to my third base if I want to keep my lead. So I'm gonna engage this, and immortals are getting crushed. So zerglings are almost cleared, and just a couple units are blocked, so that wasn't too big of a deal. But these Mutalisks are getting destroyed by these Stalkers as uh, these Immortals are taking out the Roaches. So he has an okay composition, and I have to back off here. I can't... I can't... Don't... Say, you have to save your Mutas. Mutas are only good in large numbers, and... Uh, I, I won't be able to save this base, but I'm rallying more and more units to this position so I can save my base whenever I can. C5 Stalker's coming in, gonna try to take these off guard, but Blink does save them from, uh, save them from being picked off. Taking down my third expansion now. Not too much drones on it, so that wasn't too big of a loss, because I do have my fourth here, which he does not know, I believe. No, he does not know that I have a fourth, so I'm not clearing that. I just transferred all my drones to my fourth base. Uh, so that wasn't too big of a deal, and if he attacked now, he actually might have been able to finish me off. So, although uh, he did have a rough start, it's he's actually in a good position right now. I'd say, look at the resources lost. I'm behind by like 2,500 resources, and he secured his third expansion. So I'm it just things just went upside down, or however however you want to call it. Weapons for Mutas is at level two now, so. That's good for me. Remacroing my ball up. Need a lot of units here. Not gonna be making any more 
drones for now because I do need to have an army to deal with this first of all before I can drone up and uh, you guys